and the other organizers for giving me this chance to have a talk here. So <coughs> about the five years ago, I visited here as a postdoc fellow, and the Professor Saw is my supervisor. And uh, maybe about the two years ago, I came to this university, maybe at the same the lecture room, I, uh, I gave a talk. So today, I will continue to give a talk here. So <laughs> I'm happy. So <coughs> the title of my talk is uh, on some the class of herb services in spheres. So uh, my talk uh, has the three parts. The first part, I'd like to give the, some of the uh, herb services with the constant uh, mean curvature near in the sphere. And uh, the second part, I'd like to give a uh, talk, uh, give uh, the, some introductions about the worm herb services. And the last section, I want to the, uh, give the some introduced to minimal Lagrangian like some manifolds in half a quadrant. So let's continue. So the first part. So before the first part, I'd like to give the some the basic examples of half surfaces uh, in a unit sphere. So we know that maybe the simplest examples of half surfaces in a unit sphere is the uh, spheres, just like this one, spheres. Maybe the some others are the Clifford hub services, just like uh, this one, SK, the product SN minus K. And then some other isoperometric hub services in the sphere. So maybe the similar, the simpler the examples of hub surfaces in the user sphere is the rotational hub surfaces. So, what is the rotational hub surfaces? Rotational hub surfaces in a user sphere. So now, I'd like to give the definition about the <coughs> rotational hub surfaces in a user sphere. So the sphere is called the rotational hub surfaces. If an N if M is the O N invariant hub surfaces, here the O N the group is uh, considered as a subgroup of the isometric of the unit sphere. Here, so from this definition, we can knowing the how to the construct the rotational hub surfaces in the unit sphere. Now, I introduced this the the theorem about uh, how to construct the rotational hub surfaces in a unit sphere. And firstly, we have the profile curve. This is the profile curve. Then, from this profile curve, we can construct the rotational hub surfaces in a unit sphere. In price, uh, let us the parameter uh, try the profile curve alpha s in unit sphere by this one, y1, y2, and yn plus 1, yn plus 2. Then, we can get the rotational hub surfaces generated by this profile curve, alpha s. Here, the s is the at length of this the profile curve, at length <coughs> of this the profile curve. Then, we know that this the rotational hub, uh, hub surfaces is just like this, here, the T1 and the Tn minus 1 equal to this one. So here, the phi i is a, a orthogonal parametrization of the unit sphere, of the unit sphere. So uh, we can get the phi 1 square the plus the phi n square to the 1. So this is the, the construction of the rotational hub surfaces. It's important for us to uh, have the profile curve, alpha s, then we can get the rotational hub surfaces in a unit sphere. So next, uh, I want to give the, some of the basic propositions of these uh, rotational hub surfaces. Here, <coughs> we put in fs equal to the y1s, then 
and on this theory, from this theory, we can get that the principal curvature of M are just like this one here, the dog, with the derivative to the at length S. So, from this theorem, we know that M has the two distinct, has the two principal curvatures, have the two principal curvatures. So this, the theorem is due to the Dukam and the Daijie. So, <coughs> next, uh, I'd like to uh, give the some other uh, definition. So about the M's mean curvature, M's mean curvature of the hard surfaces is defined by this one. Here, the K1, the, maybe the Ki, is the principal curvature of M. The CNM is a combination number. So from this uh, definition, it is not difficult to uh, get the following the, uh, the following properties. So I'll give the remark here. So if M is a hard surface in a unit sphere, then we know that uh, if the M equal to one. Here, the M1, the first mean curvature, first mean curvature means the mean curvature. <coughs> From here, you can get this the result. So here, if the M equal to 2, we know that the, the scalar curvature R, scalar curvature R is equal to N times N minus 1 plus N times N minus 1 H2. And if the M is the dimension of hard surfaces M, we know that so the H n is equal to the uh, K one uh, is equal to the is the is nothing but the Gauss clinical curvature. So from here we know that. So next uh, I'll uh, introduce uh, some of the examples of embedded hard surfaces in a unit sphere in a unit sphere. We know that if the sorry for the Euclidean space, maybe here before they introduce this one, I'd like to give the some the other background of this one. So we know that about the sixty years ago, we know the, we know that the Hopf conjecture. Said that if the M is a compact hard surface in Euclidean space and the M is a mean curvature, is a constant, then the uh, Hopf conjecture said that maybe uh, we can get M is a sphere. Is a sphere. In fact, this uh, Hopf conjecture is not true since the winter, we know in the winter construct the, some of the counter, uh, counter examples to this the Hopf conjecture. Then, the Professor S.T. Yao, we Yao conjecture, said that if the M here, also the compact uh, Hopf surfaces, in Euclidean space, in Euclidean space, here, sorry, n plus one. So if the scalar curvature r is a constant, and your conjecture said that m is, a, is also a round sphere. But for this, the your conjecture uh, is also the open. So for, uh, here, from here, from the, this our definition, from this the definition, the arms mean curvature, we know that uh, here means the H, uh, H1 equal to H, uh, here maybe the H2. But for the Euclidean space, uh, the hard surfaces in Euclidean space, maybe H2 equal to the, the N, the R, scalar curvature r over n times n minus one. So from this definition, we can 
proposed the following, uh, the generalized uh, your conjecture. Maybe the generalized. Maybe if M is a compact, curved surface is in Euclidean space. So if the HM means the M's mean curvature is a constant here, M is a greater than a uh, greater than one. So we can get maybe M is a sphere. M is a sphere. So this is the generalized uh, your conjecture. <coughs> For this uh, your uh, generalized uh, your conjecture, your, your conjecture, we know that the uh, professor Qing Ming Chen. To prove the uh, for this uh, your conjecture, Professor Qin Ming Chen proved that if M is a conformally flat to hard surfaces in Euclidean space, and then we can get M is a, a sphere. But for uh, the generalized uh, your conjecture, and then Ross and the Montel proved that if M is a embedded hard surfaces, embedded, so embedded hard surfaces. Then this uh, conjecture is true. Another important result is due to the career uh, mathematician, the Professor Chia. Chia. And uh, he said that so if the here, if the ha, if the M has the mean curvature uh, constant, and then for the some other the K, if the H K is equal to constant, here K is greater than two. And then we can get that the M is a sphere. M is a sphere. So the for the in fact for the special case, the conformal flat hard surfaces, we can prove the that the generalizer your conjecture is also uh, true. So this is the background of the uh, the first uh, the part of mental. So now we'll continue talk about the some examples of the uh, embedded hard surfaces with the M's mean curvature is a constant in yeah, the sphere. So next uh, we know that we know that the from the Alexander Lowe and the Mount Ross uh, the results, we know that the round sphere uh, are the compact embedded hard surfaces with constant absolute curvature in Euclidean uh, space. So on the other hand, we know that uh, the, the spheres, the Clifford hard surfaces, and the, some other isoparametric hard surfaces are embedded uh, hard surfaces in, uh, in the sphere. So it is natural to ask the following questions so <coughs> for maybe for the dimension A is greater than one and I'm uh, just like uh, satisfied with this the inequality and give a constant uh, the C, then does there any exist the compact embedded hard surfaces with M's mean curvature is a constant in the sphere uh, in the sphere other than the isoparametric hard surfaces? So this is the uh, problem. <coughs> so for this uh, problem, if m equal to one and h is uh, equal to zero, this is uh, mean, means that m is a uh, minimal. We know that uh, we have the loss conjecture. The only embedded uh, minimal torus in the unit sphere of dimension three is the uh, Clifford uh, torus. Clifford torus. So for the other cases about the rotational hard surfaces, the Japanese um, 
geometers uh, are circle and the later pro uh, greater and later proved the following the results. So this one. There are no compact uh, minimal embedded uh, rotational hub surfaces other than the Clifford hub surfaces and the spheres. So this is uh, the result. Sorry, Otsuki. 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 Sorry. Professor Tomino Otsuki. Otsuki. Thank you very much. Otsuki. 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 So if I'm equal to 9 and I'm uh, here, the main curvature is uh, not 0. So uh, ripple proved for a uh, constant in the C, if C is not to uh, equal to zero and the, the square root of three over three, that exists a compact embedded hub surfaces uh, with the mean curvature is a constant, other than the isoparametric hub surfaces. Yeah. So this is uh, for the dimension n equal to two. For the other dimension, at the brittle and the later proved for the uh, small positive. Constant C, there are uh, some the non-trivial embedded rotational hub surfaces with mean curvature is a constant. Here, the non-trivial embedded means that M is, a, is not the isoparametric hub, uh, hub surfaces in the sphere. So, <coughs> so for general, uh, the mean curvature pattern uh, proved for the dimension A. Uh, is greater than and uh, equal to 2 and k is greater than 1 given a constant c between these uh, two numbers and then we can get that there uh, is a compact non-trivial embedded hub surfaces with the mean curvature is a constant is a constant in a unit sphere a unit sphere this is the problem's result so if the n here, the m, if the m equal to 2, means that m, is a con, m has the constant scalar curvature. Right? We know that uh, if the scalar curvature is greater than uh, n minus 1, the square, and less than n times n minus 1, and the later proved there exists the many compact non trivial embedded hard surfaces with the constant scalar curvature r in a unit sphere. In the sphere. So, but for the other uh, the cases, if the scalar curvature r is greater than um, n times n minus one, and the later uh, does doesn't know any of the results, so she proposed the following the problem. Later, we call we call it the latest problem. So, given a constant c and a greater than n times n minus 1 are there embedded rotational hub surfaces in the unit sphere with the scalar curvature r is a constant other than um, Clifford hub surfaces and the spheres so for this the latest the problem uh, for this the special case if r is equal to n times n minus 1 uh, Professor Hagen Lee and uh, myself proved there are no compact embedded rotational hub surfaces with constant scalar curvature is equal to a times a minus one. So other than this, the isoparametric hub surfaces. So, so if the m equal to two for the this case for the r scalar curvature r is greater than a times a minus one, and the Professor Qingming Chen. Professor Ha Zhong Li and uh, myself proved this uh, theory. For given uh, constant C between these two, two numbers, there is a compact non trivial embedded hub surfaces in, in the sphere. So this is uh, about the rotation, uh, about the constant scalar curvature. So if the M is greater than 2, and h uh, m equal to zero, and uh, Professor Lee and myself proved this results there are no compact non-trivial embedded rotational hub surfaces with the uh, m's mean curvature equal, is equal to zero in the sphere. So, 
is the third small, the positive me arms nature, we proved uh, this one, proved uh, this result. There are many non trivial embedded hypersurfaces uh, in the ionosphere. So, in fact, uh, if the M, for this uh, special case, M is uh, M equal to 4, we can get this uh, theorem. For given constant C between uh, these uh, two numbers, there is a compact non trivial embedded hypersurfaces with the force mean curvature equals to constant in a, un in a unit sphere. In fact, we want to prove the for the general uh, generalized M. So, <coughs> and the, in this year, uh, uh, Guo Hua Wen and myself proved this theorem. For the generalized M is greater than one, uh, greater than and equal to one and less than the n, we can prove the, this the result. For a given constant c between the, these the two numbers, and then there is a compact non trivial embedded hypersurfaces with M's mean curvature is a constant in a unit sphere. So by a direct calculation, we know that uh, this the result, this the result is the generalization of the Professor Pedron and the Professor Chen Ming Chen and Hai Dong Li uh, and myself is the result. So I will give a remark here. So if when m equal to 1, this the theorem reduced the result of the problems. So if m equal to 2 and m equal to 4, this the theorem reduced the result of the Professor Chen, Professor Li and myself the results. So this is the, <coughs> this is the first the part of my talk. Uh, discuss, uh, discussing about the constant uh, scalar uh, constant mean curvature. Mm. So in the second part, I'd like to give the some examples of warm hard surfaces in spheres. So firstly, I'd like uh, to introduce the, the warm function. What is the warm function? In fact, the warm uh, for this uh, hard surface in a unit sphere, we can define the Wilmer functional. Wilmer functional is just like uh, this. So here the S is the square normal of the second fundamental form. Here the H is the mean curvature of the M. So from this here, we, we can uh, get that the S minus N H square is a nine, negative. If this uh, S, N, uh, S minus N H square is a is equal to zero if and only if m is an umbilical hard surfaces. So, <coughs> so we de uh, we denote uh, rho here. Rho denotes rho square denotes the uh, s n minus h uh, n s n s minus n h square. So <coughs> by a direct calculation, we can uh, compute the first variation of this the Wilmer function and uh, get the Euler-Lagrange equation of this the Wilmer function. So we can get so this is the Euler-Lagrange equation. In fact, uh, the Wilmer hard surfaces is the critical point of this uh, of this the uh, Wilmer function. Critical point of this uh, Wilmer function. If the M satisfied this equation. We call that the M is a Wilmer function, uh, Wilmer hard surfaces, Wilmer hard surfaces. So from here, from here, from this equation, we know that it is it not uh, easy? It's not so easy to find the examples of Wilmer hard surfaces in a unit sphere. Here, uh, Laplace, uh, here uh, denotes the cover. Uh, uh, derivative related to the induced the metric here. So <coughs> the first example was given uh, uh, by the Professor Guo, Professor Han Li, and the Professor Chang Ping Wang. Uh, the first uh, example is about the, the Tory, just like this. So this Tory, maybe uh, you can find that uh, is just uh, the due of the uh, of the Clifford minimal hard surfaces. Clifford minimal hard surfaces. If the Clifford minimal hard surfaces means the S K, uh, maybe the square root the K over N dimension N. 
So the different, this is the Urmaha services. So not the, in general, not the uh, Clifford minimal health services. So this is the examples. And then, in fact, uh, if we consider the special case, consider the rotational hub surfaces in a human sphere, we can get this uh, result. We can get, get this result. If M is a n dimensional compact rotational hub surfaces with the n minus 1, the h n minus 1 equals to 0, and then M is the Wilmer hub surfaces. So from here, we know that there are many, there are a lot of the uh, will more have surfaces in the lunar sphere. So, but for the other case, if the J is greater than and less than, uh, greater than and equal to the one and less than n minus one, there are no compact rotational will more have surfaces with H J equal to zero other than the spheres, other than spheres. So this is the, this is the first uh, uh, result. In fact, uh, by, uh, in fact, by the, in fact, we know that this uh, that the room of functional is a conformal environment, conformal environment. So it is the, uh, so we show the remark, uh, give a remark here, give a remark here. So the first remark said that if M is a compact hub surfaces with two distinct principal curvature and H n minus one equal to zero, and then we can knowing that the M is a real uh, amount of surfaces. The second remark said that uh, we can know that the conformal equipment to this uh, the the room toy is the uh, hub surfaces itself. From from this uh, remark we know that this result is uh, is uh, interesting since the other cases uh, does not equivalent to, uh, conformally equivalent to this uh, Clifford uh, uh, does not conformally equivalent to this uh, Wormer Tori so, so this is, a sec uh, is about the second part of my talk the last part of my talk is about the the minimal Lagrange standard fold in hyperquadric so firstly we give the some the background of this uh, section. So if M is a uh, hard surfaces in a lunar sphere, then we can define the Gauss map just like this Gauss map. Here the A denotes the unit, uh, the vector field, and uh, here the X and the A just denotes the uh, this one is meant by the two vector the X and the A. Here we use the real of the glass line manifolds of the two plants in the Euclidean uh, space. Euclidean space. In fact, uh, we, in fact, if the first, for the special case, we know that the Q and C uh, is the S two times uh, product S two if A go to the two. So <coughs> next, uh, we give the first uh, the the factor. The first factor is that uh, this uh, Gauss map is a uh, Laplace uh, immersion into the complete hyperquadric, hyperquadric. So this is the first uh, the, the fact. And then uh, Professor Castro and Rubano proved uh, this uh, result. For the minimal Laplace surfaces of the hyperquadric, uh, we can uh, in fact uh, this. Uh, Minimal Lagrange hyperquadric uh, surfaces in hyperquadric uh, just uh, just can be considered the, the uh, Gauss map of the minimal surfaces in lunar sphere in lunar sphere. So this is the Castro and Urbanus the uh, results results. So next uh, from the uh, we, we have the Palmer's uh, the mean curvature form formula just like this one here h denotes the mean curvature of the Gauss map Gauss map so from this uh, primus mean curvature form uh, form formula we can get the following the properties this is the factor 
So if your first map of an uh, isotherm leaching hub surfaces in a luminous sphere is also a minimal Lagrangian inequality in hub quadrant. In fact, uh, it's very easy to check that this is a factor from the Palmer's uh, nature form formula. So it's uh, very easy for the, the isoperi isoperimetric hub surfaces. So Professor Fema and Professor Onita studied the relationship between the Lagrange sun manifold in, hub, in a complex hub quadric <coughs> and the isoperimetric hub surfaces in spheres. So in spheres. But for the, the, some other the cases, if, for, if we consider the non isoperimetric hub surfaces, so how about the other cases, uh, the, the some other cases, such as non isoperimetric hub surfaces? So we propose the, uh, the, this uh, question how to construct the non isoperimetric hub surfaces? Uh, in a unit sphere such as its course map is a minimal Lagrange emerging in the complex uh, quadrant. But here so we consider the, the non-isoperimetric hover surfaces. So from the, this the factor, and we consider the, the special the hover surfaces, rotational hover surfaces, rotational hover surfaces, we have this uh, proposition Proposition: If M is a hub surface in the lunar sphere, if the this uh, if the, this the sigma k sigma i satisfies this equation, so we can get the Gauss map is a minimal Lagrange emerging. Minimal Lagrange emerging. Here, the sigma k sigma t is a just mean curvature. That uh, is the just mean curvature. So from this uh, property, uh, we know that uh, it is a substance to construct the hub surfaces in a lunar sphere uh, with the, this the properties. This the properties. Uh, we can get the we can get the sum, we can get a lot uh, we can get the sum the minimal Lagrange uh, sum manifold in complex uh, hub quadric. So. Next, uh, we'll try to construct the hub surfaces in a lunar sphere satisfy this equation. Satisfy this equation. So, in fact, uh, in fact, uh, in fa uh, another thing is about uh, this. Uh, another thing is about this equalities. In fact, uh, this equality, uh, if the hub surfaces satisfy this equation, uh, is a uh, in fact, is a generalization of a minimal surfaces, such as if we uh, assume the a equal to two, equal to two, and we can get that this means the uh, the minimal surfaces, minimal minimal surfaces. So, so how does how surfaces satisfy this equation? Is a generalization of the minimal uh, surfaces, minimal surfaces. So recently, we, con uh, we construct the many compact rotational hub surfaces with this uh, property. In fact, in detail, uh, in detail uh, from this, uh, in detail from the profile curve. It, since we consider the, the rotational hub surfaces, firstly we have the uh, profile curve. So from the, from the profile curve, we can get this equation ODE ODE equation. And then we can compute its uh, we can solve the we can get its the solution of this equation. In fact, uh, this uh, the, the solution is a period is a period. We can compute its the period. So this is the t means the period of the hub surfaces, just like uh, just like this. In fact, uh, we can compute this uh, the period just like this one. And from the embedded the theorems, we know that there exists the some embedded hub surfaces in a lunar sphere satisfied uh, that equation. So from here, <coughs> from about to the arguments, we can get to the, uh, the following results. There is at least one compact, non-isoperimetric uh, 
embedded the hard surfaces in a unique sphere, such as the gauss map is a minimal Lagrange immersion in the compact uh, hyperquadric. Uh, in detail, in detail, I'll tell you the how to construct uh, this uh, the rotational hard surfaces. about the uh, minimal Lagrange sum manifold in a complex hyper quadric here. So firstly, this is about the some the basic uh, the property of rotational hyper surfaces in spheres. So first uh, we have the profile curve and how to construct the rotational hyper surfaces. So then from here, we can get the, the, the ODE from here, from this the equation, from this equation. We can get the equation just like this one. And then we can compute the, the period, just like uh, is this the formula period. So from here, we can compute from this the lemma, we can get the its period. So, so then we can get this uh, uh, our uh, get get our results. This the result. So this uh, this the result. So there exists uh, at least uh, one compact non embedded uh, non isoparametric embedded hard surfaces embedded hard surfaces in a unit sphere such that it's the Gauss map with a minimal Lagrange uh, emerging in a compact hard drug hard quadric. So I'll stop here. Thank you very much. So. Are there any questions about this?